Namaste Star Family, welcome back to the channel for a pick a card that is about a message from your body. This is in honor of the transit of Mercury going into the sign of Libra. The whole transits from September 26 to October 13 is going to be following along the sun. So a lot of activation from the throat chakra activated by Mercury along with the third eye. And as I was getting ready, this card was really like glowing. And it is about listening to the, to, to the message of the body, but with love. With Libra archetype, we're relating to the heart field. So let's see what those piles are going to be. Okay, I'm going to put this card on the side because that's the one that inspired me as I was getting ready for the picker card. We're going to choose three piles and you'll have options to pick also according to your zodiac sign. I would personally uh, choose my Mercury placement if I were you, but again, that's the astrologer in me that likes to mix a little bit of the Oracle cards and guidance with the astrology in the chart. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have those three here. Up. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're actually here. Okay. So we have, I am beautiful and everybody loves me. That's pile number one. And it says on the back, I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. Okay. <laughs> pile number two, we have my life works beautifully. A lot of beauty here. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. Beautiful. And then we have, it is safe to look within. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful, and I love what I see in me. Okay. All right. Let's see for those piles. What zodiac signs? Let me move this a little bit. Okay. So pile one. What message from your body is coming forward? We'll turn them around just after we put them all in order. Pile number two. Oh, this is interesting. I had an activation in my eyes right now. So um, if some of you, if you've been feeling any type of eye problems, I would choose this one. There's something here about the eyes. I had this weird thing happening. <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, but it, it was there. Okay. So pile number one, we have a Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have a Libra and we have Pisces. Pile number two, we have Capricorn. We have Cancer. We have Sagittarius and we have Aries. Pile number three, we have Taurus. We have Virgo. We have Gemini. And we have a Leo, okay? So again, you can choose your uh, zodiac sign or I would suggest, because it's connected to Mercury's transit in Libra, look at your Mercury placement when you were born and pick that zodiac sign to have a message from your body that is much needed at this time. I'll see you in the pile picking where we will choose the cards together. Hi, pile number one. Let's look at your cards for this pick a card reading that is about a message from your body that is needed to hear at this time. All right, let's see what we have for you. Okay, I feel this one. Might be another one here. The dragons have been coming out a lot recently, helping rewire the nervous system. I love this. 
feel that might be needed here. And we'll pull the mermaids in a little bit. Okay, let's first see this first layer of message. Okay, so we have the rune through oh, <laughs> Teresa's. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna look at the little booklet because I love the poems um, in this um, Viking Oracle. And then we have the Burkano rune. Hmm. Look at this. So let me see what we have for the dragons, but there's some emergence here. Is it related to this, this sense of beauty? Is it related to this? Okay, we have the Emerald Dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Ooh, good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. Ooh, I love this. Especially knowing that um, we've been activating and accessing more so our truest most authentic blueprint through the past uh, new moon in Virgo cycle. Okay, as we're channeling this, we're coming to the end. And we've been doing a lot of healing on the multi layers of body. Okay, and then we have the rose pink dragon prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart. Open your heart to warm hearted love and diamond light. Connect with the love of the universe. You know what's interesting here? I feel that what's happening for you, pile number one, your body wants to show you how your efforts that you've put in into yourself, there's a lot of hard healing that you've done and your body is starting to show changes. There's an emergence of this new glow, of this new way to relate to your body, to relate all of a sudden, I'm looking at the screen, I'm seeing this light, to relate to your light, to also relate to your shadows, how you integrate the wisdom of your past um, contrasted experiences. Let me reread this. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I feel there might have been something in relationship to others here that was creating some type of hard block. By the way, if some of you are still, I'm going to write this down. Okay, um, pile number one, I have in my vibrational pharmacy a frequency for hard blockage. If you feel there's any congestion, anything that you have yet to process in terms of self-acceptance. But what I'm seeing here so far with those beautiful energies is that through the transit of Mercury in Libra, my dear pile number one, your body wants to say to you first, thank you. Thank you for tapping into the beauty of who you are, dear one. Thank you for tapping into the beauty and the love that and the magic that just being alive, being in a body is. You know, being able to have this experience in a sacred vessel. I feel as some of you, there's been um, some type of higher awareness of how sacred your body is. And I'm not surprised, you know, you guys, thank you for connecting to this channel. Part of my uh, Mayan astrology is to bridge the physical to the spiritual. You know, that's like the placement of my um, personal seal. And I love love having to discover this. By the way, some of you, if you want to look at your Zodiac uh, Mayan seal and kind of like look into it a little bit, I will put in the description of this video or I'll see if I can link it here. But if you don't find it here, look um, into the description. I'm going to put a link that I like for the Mayan uh, astrology. Okay. All right. So let's look into 
this particular rune here, Turia, Turisas. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say something else, but. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is interesting. It says, do not get drawn into unnecessary drama. There are many sides to every story, so make sure you research a situation thoroughly before making a decision. Ignorance is no excuse. Choose wisdom and remove the old thorn in your side. Choose the positive flow of enthusiasm, fecundity, and passion rather than aggression, small-mindedness, and force. I feel as some of you, there might have been some type of um, drama around you. You know, there might have been something in that, in that type of energy. Some of you, if you are part of the Star Family YouTube membership in the goddess level, I feel the energy and guidance of Muse Melpomene. She is related to theater, acting, but also tragedy and drama. Okay, so some of you, maybe through being involved in past drama, there was um, a certain lesson that you had to learn. Okay, and here what I feel is the lesson was to love your body. And it's interesting how I'm getting this transmission here is that um, loving your body as a sensor for love, almost like a guiding tool, you know, kind of tapping into the awareness of how your body gets pulled and attracted to things that will vibrate in alignment with your love and how you see how lovable you are, or being pulled towards the opposite. So I wouldn't be surprised here for you, pile number one, uh, that part of the message of your body is to recognize those past dynamics, maybe having uh, attracted in the past some toxicity in a relationship that made you feel unlovable, unloved, not accepted. But ultimately, I do feel the encouragement here that um, you've been giving yourself so much greater love just because of all this dragon energy that is connected to the cosmic heart, that speaks of your blueprint, that speak of fifth dimensional awareness, consciousness. It seems that you had to probably experience a contrast in terms of your body, maybe uh, when you looked in the mirror, how you felt about yourself, how you spoke, because remember, we're also talking about Mercury messages, um, how you spoke about your body or how you looked uh, was not in alignment with the highest truth of that perception um, that was going to help you navigate life, you know? And so there's something for you, pile number one, that's very strong, is to trust how the guidance of how your body reacts to your environment, to people. I feel some of you, uh, pheromones, how the pheromones are, you know, acting as a attractor, chemistry, uh, could be something that you want to pay attention and also have as an awareness that, awareness that you're highly connected to your senses in that way. To attract people that recognize your beauty, okay? So I feel like this is something that if in the past you attract and you feel attracted to someone and um, maybe they're, they're saying, you know, things that are a little bit degrading or negative about your appearance or anything, uh, or that could be in friendships or whatever, uh, that could be even among family, I want you to recognize how um, there might have been some uh, lack of self-love, self-esteem, and how your body was trying to maybe warn you. Some of you, there might have been some underlying um, toxicity or, you know, like lethal attraction to a trauma, to the repetition of a certain pattern, okay? Yeah.
I would say in particular, if you're watching this and you have a natal Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrograde is a karma, uh, experiences a lot of distortion with the voice, people that can lie, people that, that don't speak their truth. Okay. And that means that there's something here that your body is saying, pay attention to how I respond. Um, don't shut me down. You know, it's almost like I feel like some of you, the red flags, if any, it is, is through how your body reacts. Almost like, a, you know, I'm seeing like a cat <laughs> or, like with the, or any animal like with the hair um, that is like um, perked up, you know, as if you're sensing a certain danger and maybe your mind is trying to uh, shut down the receptiveness of those senses and it's saying, pay attention to this because I know when I'm in an environment that is lovable and where I feel loved and where I feel safe. And that's something that probably you had to work on yourself so you could create this environment for yourself. So then when you're out in the world, you're able to pick up on the difference. Very interesting. I did not know what to expect from the uh, messages from the body, uh, especially in relationship to Mercury. Okay, but there's a lot of wisdom here uh, that you're receiving pile number one through how your body reacts to what you hear, what you watch. Mm, beautiful here. Look at this. Yemaya, grandmother, ocean, primordial. Some of you, you might, um, you see, that, that really reminds me of how some of you had to do a lot of healing, especially with the water. Um, we do have Scorpio and Pisces in this pile. Okay, some of you, maybe you had to purify certain emotions, how certain things made you feel. Maybe some of you, part of those patterns are inherited. They could be from the mother. Some of you, I share this often. You know, it comes up often because this is knowledge that I really want people to have because I see, I attract, I would say 90 plus percent of clients that have placement in their first house. The first house is the house in the year of the womb, is year zero, is the year where you're in fetus and you're absorbing a lot of the outside influences, especially from the mother, but also how the mother experiences her reality. Okay, so some of you, they might have been inherited patterns and it could be the mother, but because there's the grandmother um, inheritance, it could be also from the uh, lineage, okay, especially from the mother's side. Okay, let's see what else. So message from the body. You need a lot of self, um, self love and self care. I would say for some of you feeling an environment at interesting message. <laughs> Sorry. I, um, I just heard, uh, when you pick colors for your day, you see how she's like wearing purple, um, this like wearing certain colors, pile number one are highly supportive of supporting what your body needs. And what I mean by body is not just the physical appearance of your body, even though some of you, it might make you feel good to wear a certain color. You know, um, I personally love, um, picking colors for the day. I really am tapped into that. Um, that that's an awareness that your body wants to have is that, um, your eyesight and how, when you look at yourself or you surround yourself, some of you also, I'm, I'm seeing maybe the suggestion of painting one wall in your room. Maybe it could be lavender. Okay. Some calming color. There's something here about bringing an environment through colors that is, uh, that is highly supportive of your body to surround itself with a vibration. Colors have a certain frequencies. So bring that frequency that makes you feel beautiful, that makes you feel empowered and so on and so forth. Oh, look at this guide, a guide, mentor, and trustworthy ally. I really like this for you. You see how I was like saying, um, also a color lavender and calming colors are so blue. So some of you could be um, those two colors, but the guide 
with this, I really strongly feel for you, pile number one, that the message from your body is that it is your navigation tool. It is part of your guidance. You're highly connected to how your body reacts to its environment, to people's thoughts, even if not spoken. I'm really feeling some of you like... Um, I don't know if you've ever experienced this. I'm sure you have because I'm feeling this whole scene happening. Um, you enter a restaurant and you right away can feel if you should stay or not. It's like, you know, sometimes when you're like uh, maybe walking down the streets and trying to pick up a place, there's like, there, there's a certain like navigation skill from um, your body that you're receiving, especially the skin. Okay, so color seems to be important. Touch uh, the fabric, and it's saying it's important for you because it's giving you a certain reactivation of your. I was gonna say like there's a reactivation of psychic gifts through those little changes that your body is asking you to honor some of you you might already have this type of awareness maybe picking up um, certain fabrics for uh, your clothes certain colors yeah I really feel that this is important for cutting off a certain past patterns what I love with this is that I see a lot of beauty that is emerging for you uh, in this period of time where Mercury is in Libra, probably because, you know, there is this merge where Mercury is going to be with the sun pretty much this whole cycle, which is also an archetype, Libra, that is connected to the heart and that brings the scales of power and balance, the give and take. You know, I feel that here with the body saying like, give me what I need. I need the colors that makes me feel safe, that makes me feel peaceful, that makes me feel empowered, that makes me feel beautiful. Um, I need the environment. I need you to respect the environment, the people, the places where I feel uh, beautiful, where I feel celebrated. And sometimes that's going to be in solitude because I see her, you know, kind of like dancing around or by herself and, and just enjoying life. So that's something that's interesting that I'm seeing for you, um, pile number one. So that's what I have for you, pile number one, as far as messages from your body. I love this. I think you're going to have a great experience to see how when you connect to your body's messages and give it those stimuli, you know, colors, fabric, it's going to uplift your aura, it's going to really make you, I feel like almost like also change the way you talk about yourself, others see you, thus talk about you, relate to you, and a lot of the past drama is going to be put aside. So good luck with that. This is really fantastic. I am loving this. If some of you have picked this pile, I would love to know in the comments below how you resonate with those messages. If you already have been starting to take action on some of those suggestions that I've mentioned, I know some of you, you're getting a lot of confirmation from pick a card reading. So I love to read that in the comments. Thank you so very much. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your messages from your body. So if you picked according to the zodiac, we have Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, and Cancer. We're going to put this aside. And the card says, my life works beautifully. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. I wonder here if there is something about your work and career as far as your messages in relationship to your body, okay? Or feeling successful and how your body feels in that environment when you do give yourself the praises that you need. I feel like there's something here um, about all this, those <laughs> random things that I'm saying. <laughs> 
All right, we got the two cards here for you. Let's see what we have. And we're going to pick the dragons with the runes or the Viking Oracle. Sometimes it's not runes, but it can be. All right, let's see. Up. All right. So, oh, you want it to be there. That's fine. And this one. Okay. We have the rune Wunzo. Wunyo. It's a true. Beautiful purple activation here. And then we have the rune Elas. With the antlers here. You know, just looking at this and just with the shape of the rune here, really feel high, high connection to your intuition, to the divine. You see here those... Um, those wings that reminds me a little bit of Hermes, uh, communication with the divine, as if your body is saying something about you being uh, in, in sacred union with the divine, in sacred communion, communication with the divine. Wow, pile number two, okay. Um, then we have the Earth Dragon, clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing, you can move forward in life. Wow. Interesting, I'm like trying to look at those crystals. I feel emetite energy. Some of you, I feel there might be, you know what, it's inspiring me. I feel I want to do, I've been noticing some things happening here in California. Uh, we were seeing yesterday in clear blue sky, some type of like rain falling on the car, but it had like that metal tint and it was nothing. And then we started seeing like planes and it felt a little bit cam trail. Okay, and I have I have been put this aside, the chemtrail detox. There's something here with the emetite. Why do I say this? Is at some point I was working in an office where I was in a high um, EMF environment. And oh my God, I was so sensitive to it. I was putting hematite all around the computer, uh, you know, the tower for the computer. It really helped. And at the time I was still battling chronic pain uh, with my hip fracture. So I remember how much it helped. And I feel that um, there's something here about detoxing metals. So it could be also looking into um, your body might need some... Oh, I did not... <laughs> okay, I did not expect those messages. Um, but we will go there because they're here, uh, especially with the green in the back, a chlorophyll, spiruluna. Uh, a lot of the algaes are great to detoxify some of the metals. So some of you, that could be a great way to detoxify your upper chakra also help with the blooming of your crown. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I did not expect this at all. But you, you remember how I told you, like, uh, with the work aspect, some of you, if you're still working in an office environment, there might be something. I feel I want to put my crystal here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you might be guided here. Your body says, uh, surround yourself with crystals. Um, I'm also being reminded, I even had um, uh, Himalayan salt lamp on my desk. I mean, it was, I had plants. I, like, it was, <laughs> I was lucky to have that space, okay? But I was spending over 10 hours a day. It was just, I was there a lot in that office. Um, so I made it homey. So I feel like there's something here about the work environment as far as your body. So you stay connected in higher ways to the higher version of yourself. Okay. There might be um, certain things that affect your cells, your cellular pathway, your water, cellular water. Okay. Let's see what else. 
air and fire dragon expands your creative energies wow okay harness your creativity excitement and enthusiasm communicate your passion i i really feel that there's something here you see with this explosion that as you clear maybe your work environment and some of you might be pay attention to your desk pay attention to um you know again certain source of light certain source of emf uh, turning off the Wi-Fi at night or making sure your phone is on airplane, um, not having your phone next to your head or next to your pillow. Certain things here as far as maintaining your high vibration and staying away from some of the parasitic toxicity, okay, um, from the machines because of the work. Wow, very interesting. I did not expect this at all from the body, but yes, I can relate uh, to those uh, times. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else for you, pile number two with messages from the body. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love when the body speaks. <laughs> oh, you know what? I would like to see if there's more messages from the Wunzo, Wunjo, um, I don't know why I want to say Z here, <laughs> Rune. Ooh, seek joy actively. It is the most important aspect of your life right now. Loyalty in tough times, working for and with the community is a positive move. Long hell wishes can come true now when you accept support and input from others. So very interesting because work as a word came back again. This again, this um, environment with your work, co-workers, making sure you're creating a space that is inviting of your creativity, of your body to feel energized Okay, Elias here says, be courageous. Fear is a necessary part of courage. Differentiate between what is yours and what belongs to others. Respect others' properties and boundaries. Step forward and do what is right, even if others do not. Develop deeper connections with the plants and animals will share the, this planet. Definitely confirmation here. With the boundaries, again, there could be something with the field. It can be the environment of work with relationship, but I really feel for some reason here that is more related to the machines, to the source of the light. You know, some of the light bulbs in offices are, uh, okay? Maybe having a pair of eyeglass that filters the blue light when you're going to be on the screen for a long time. Okay, the body is, 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 is speaking out loud here for you with Mercury and Libra. This is interesting because, you know, through that transit, Mercury is going to be with the sun. This whole transit, uh, dancing intimately, especially until October 6th. And um, that's a great activation of the throat with the third eye. So um, there's going to be uh, an uplifted version of the reality through the lens of how we speak about our reality and how we see it. So some of you, maybe that has to do, you know what I'm getting also with this um, and the purple? Pineal gland. You might want to look into detoxifying your pineal gland here. I did not expect. <laughs> okay sisterhood friendship allies compatible souls loyalty again joy again delight i love this you know i feel that when you start operating from this place okay where you um create an environment that's special to you you know, imagine like you have your little office and you have your little crystals and you have, a, it's like, it creates a certain connection with people. Um, you know, I remember one time having this very important appointment. 
okay uh it was for my visa so it was like an important you know immigration appointment and i remember entering the office of that person and i saw this paint and i could feel like the connection to spirit from this person's office and then i saw she was wearing a crystal and it's almost like i was able to tap into i was like okay i'm in the presence of someone that i can speak to and i you know i felt comfort and i feel like this this was really divinely orchestrated because um, it was an important turning point on my journey to getting uh, my green card here in the States. And I remember how those small details that I picked up in her office made me feel like that was going to work out, that I was in a place where I could connect, I could relate. Okay, so some of you, there's something here about your habits that you're giving your body, certain practices, certain awareness, wearing certain crystals, uh, putting crystals in your bedroom, in your office, in your car, uh, in your bra. <laughs> yes, all my sisters that put crystals in their bra, comment below. <laughs> okay, um, there's definitely this, this soul vibration and recognition that right now is going to be uh, supportive, you know, of creating moments of joy, even if it's just for strangers, this is going to create like certain, um, you know, conversations or spark certain things that I feel are going to be um, not only just supportive for you, but for others. There's like an inflow of communication from the divine that you're not, you know, maybe you're going to realize that uh, this person stops you to talk to you about maybe the jewelry you're wearing because there is a certain um, divine messages, you know, that you are meant to uh, share with one another. And it's just like, there's, it's going to create a lot of magic here. I love this for you, pile number two. And then we have Lemuria Returns, earthy spirituality, community, ocean conservation. I love this. Some of you, this is going to be, uh, that's what your body says. There's something about, you know, with Lemuria and the sisterhood, there's definitely uh, a, a soul tribe gathering that I feel here. Some of you, um, wow, I have to mention it because I, I, I feel some of you, if you're pregnant, okay, there's like, um, as you're connecting to this type of energy, this communication, uh, you know, it's almost like you're creating that environment also for the child within that is growing within you. Now, as I'm saying this, I'm also tapping into your inner child. It's almost like you're through Mercury and Libra, pile number two, I feel that you're creating through your own little habits, okay? Which is, uh, some of you, it's like, it could look like it's quirky, but your body is highly sensitive to, um, to the frequencies. I feel you are someone that's highly telepathic. Um, some of you might be watching this channel because you connect uh, really strongly with my frequency uh, attunements, my sound engineering. I really feel that some of you, you're part of that tribe that really benefits from working with the waves because it, it moves you. It moves you, it guides you. And that's what your body is saying. It's like, make sure you surround yourself with high vibrational frequencies. Wow. Wow. I'm loving this reading so far. Not just for you, but like, wow. I Oh my God. I mean, yeah. The wisdom of the body. So wonderful, wonderful. Let's see if there's something in particular for you as far as frequencies. Um, you know, I already, I already feel it without pulling the cards. I want you to go and inquire pile number two. Um, go into my Starseed music activation. With some of you, there's communication with Lemuria. There's something, a sisterhood. There's something with other star constellations and a star activation that you need to connect with. I so far have Sirius, Orion, and the Pleiades. I will have more. 
Um, yeah, and the, those three have been strongly supportive in the cosmos right now as we're dancing and um, uplifting ourselves and humanity. So that's what I have for you. Pile number two. Uh, yes, frequency. Frequency surrounding is highly supportive of you knowing things are going to work out great because you're sensitive like that. You're, some of you, you know, it's especially from the womb, it might be something you inherited, something that is in your lineage. Uh, some of you, you could be also musicians, okay, because of that high. Or you're connecting to frequencies. Uh, some of you, you might, I, I, I want to share this because I remember having this as a child, um, holding crystals, rocks, and hearing sound. Uh, tasting food and singing the song <laughs> of the pleasure I was experiencing from the food. Some of you, you can hear sound from objects, from your surrounding, okay? That's, that's beautiful and that's part of what is being activated, but it's asking of you maybe certain supportive, um, physical, helpful guidance, again, all that we mentioned at the beginning. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me uh, or just look up, you know, pineal, pineal gland detox, um, you know, heavy metal detox, and just look into this. That's wonderful. That's what I have for you, my dear pile number two. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your messages from your body. So far, I am loving it. Love, 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 love. Okay, so you chose the card. It is safe to look within. And it says on the back, as I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being wise and beautiful and I love what I see in me. I love those affirmations. So some of you might be something you want to write down um, as part of your activation. For zodiac placement, Gemini, Leo, we'll put them aside, and Virgo and Taurus. Okay, so let's see your messages. I've been really impressed by what the body um, has to share for Mercury and Libra. Mercury is going to be pretty much uh, transiting uh, through Libra with the sun all through this transit, September 26th to October 13th. Um, so that should be quite interesting as far as activation of the third eye and the throat, certain perception of the self that are being uplifted at this time. Especially, I feel, for you, pile number three. Let's see what messages your body has. Okay, all right, Ooh. right, sorry, <laughs> I've been curious, I will look at it after, okay, I have been curious, okay, some of you, them is there might be something that you've been already picking up that your body is signal, signaling to you and you're wondering what does it mean, okay, so let's see, we have the soul energy, which is the sun, Wow, I told you. Um, some of you, I would highly suggest to watch the pick a card reading for Libra season. I'm going to put it here. If you don't find it here, because I didn't have enough <laughs> space for all the videos, you'll find it below. Um, but I think I will have some space definitely here. Uh, let me write this down. Okay, sun, pick a card. So Libra, we. I felt this from the beginning for you. Um, there's definitely some, some truth that is coming to the light, okay? There's a new light. Are you seeing yourself through another pair of eyes? Hmm. Let's see. With the th 35. Yes. I don't know why, but I thought it was 33. But 32. Odin. Oh, my God. Talk about eyes. Okay, Odin... It's connected to, you know, giving his eye, one eye, for accessing a certain type of knowledge, a certain level of intuition, seeing beyond the physical reality. 
So there might be also here some messages from your body, especially. <laughs> oh my God, I'm loving this. I'm sorry. I'm just loving this. You're going to understand why I'm loving this. Sunflowers, okay? They follow the sun. Sun, the eyes. Some of you, part of the message from your body is sun gazing. When the sun rises, those first rays that you can stare at. If you're wearing contacts or um, glasses, please don't wear them at that time because you're receiving lots of activations and uh, light codes and you're also regenerating your eyesight. There's something about your eyes here, um, but there's also, you know, the other metaphysical expression of your eyes. It's almost like I'm seeing the sun's activation, which is going to transit with Mercury. So for you, there is an upliftment of how you perceive your own light, your own wisdom, your own uh, psychic abilities. That is, that is important. Sun gazing, morning or evening, both ideally, that would be great. Um, it's not always possible, but try to remember that it is important um, source of information and energy for the body through your iris, through your pupil. Okay, then we have, that was the dragon. Archangel Gabriel's dragon, ooh, brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. Hmm. Beautiful light. Almost like blinding light. Purify. There's something about your perception that is of self, especially, I feel. Because remember, we were talking of this card the opinion of others, how people see you. Ooh, how did I not see this before? Mm. Okay, some of you, through this transit, there's going to be revelation of how people were seeing you that you may have not seen before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. I'm seeing the purple resonance and the yellow. I feel as some of you, look at, I feel as some of you, there was, um, the opinion of others might have been because um, there was always something quite striking about you, pile number three. I think that you have that an aura that is summoning, your presence summons the light, summons some type of call. You know, with Archangel Gabriel, um, I always... Remember the trumpet of Archangel Gabriel that is almost like this call for people to rise, to answer to their soul's purpose, to their oath, um, to their spiritual quest. And I feel like you've, you have this aura, very magnetic, charismatic aura that you just have. And maybe in the past, how people reacted to you with this presence may have um, biased your perception of yourself. Okay, because remember, when your aura demands a certain energy, especially here with the discipline, you, you see that those figures are very, very charismatic. They impose the sun and Odin. It's almost someone that sees beyond what is, that is very connected. And that, when you have this type of glow and aura, that means that others feel that they have to answer the call, that they have to follow with being more disciplined. And maybe that was not to their liking. So the response can be coming from the ego and trying to lower you, trying to discourage you from following your truth. I don't know why I feel for someone in particular here. Uh, some people are trying to discourage you from following a certain path. Mm -hmm. Or oh, look at this, the source dragon. Are you kidding me? Under Odin? Oh, wow. Pile number three. Who are you? Who Pick that pile. 
attunes you to the infinite. Be still in the silence. Magic can happen. Be in the moment. Definitely very magnetic. Very magnetic presence. So your, your message here from your body is to take ownership of your light. You're highly connected to the cycles. Connected to the circadian rhythm. Um, I would say for you, pay attention to, um, you know what? I'm, I'm hearing so many <laughs> messages. Pay attention to your sleep patterns. Very important that you get proper rest, pile number three. This is very important. I would suggest also for you, my solar flares frequency. Okay, I really feel that there's some codes that right now could benefit you. Solar flares. Mm -hmm. So you can benefit and upgrade, connect to source. There's a lot of light that you're bringing. And I feel because we're channeling here messages from the body, but especially through the lens of Mercury. So it's almost like we're giving the voice to the body. There's certain truth that you're meant to bring. And this is why maybe the opinions came through, you know, which is Mercury is also uh, connected to thought, connected to knowledge, connected to obviously thoughts. And it might have discouraged you, uh, you know, in the past from those people, opinions to speak up about something that seems to be very dear to your heart. Okay, so definitely continue on your path, uh, connect to the sun, connect to the cycles, respect your cycles, rest, hydrate, get some movement, um, you know, bring joy and hobbies, not only just work. There's something about you, how you nurture and especially with self-discipline, continue to nurture this. It might make people feel a certain way. Don't don't care about that, okay? Yeah. Your dedication is, is something, it's almost like it was given to you. Some of you, it's in your chart. I can feel it. It's the way you were designed. There's certain things about discipline, dedication um, that is in there. And you just can't help it. This is part of your truth. Oh, wow. I mean, like, visions. Psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out-of-body travel. Your body is saying that as you're connecting more and more to, I'm feeling it's the light, okay? And you can use the actual light that you are receiving from the sun to tap in, look at this full moon, to tap into grander visions. There's certain visions that are meant for you, okay? As far as what you need to access, what you need to achieve, what you're here to um, create. But there's also uh, divisions that I feel that are for the collective. There's some spiritual, you probably have certain guidance. You know, you could be... Um, you could be a spiritual guide, you could be into coaching, you could be into any field, that could be educational field, uh, where you have certain guidance, certain things that you can see, it could be even be politics, you know, um, there's, there's something here that you're seeing um, through the codes and receptivity um, to the cycles, to your connection to the light. Some of you, it's also, again, your sun sign. So definitely, uh, like I said at the beginning, go and check out your truth unveiling with Libra season and go and pick your sun sign. Pick your sun sign, okay? Some of you that are doing this, please let me know in the comments because this, this feels huge. Or you can, you know, give me a comment and then send me a personal message. I get a lot of more personal messages, but I do appreciate so much. Uh, the ones that are giving me comments as well, so others can feel comfortable. And I think like that's part of this for you, uh, pile number three. As you let yourself be comfortable with speaking your truth, speaking your experience, you're not realizing, but I feel like with this you and this cycle, you are going to realize you're inspiring others to speak their truth. And part of your role is truth. 
And part of your body's reaction is it recognizes truth. Strong empaths here. You might be able to read people's subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Look. I mean, when I'm just saying, oh my God, I got chills. Reflections. You're able to see the mirror effect, you know, but also you're able to mirror uh, a certain energy that can help others, that can help others. And I feel like in the past, you know, it was like when people are not in alignment, your image might just shock them or might just make them uncomfortable. But your body is saying you can help yourself, but be connected in that way. Continue connecting to the cycles of, um, especially for you, there's something about Schumann resonance, the earth. I told you I have the solar flares. Now I'm being inspired like every pile. Oh, you know, every time I do those readings, I'm like, I have light work that follows this. Some of you, you know, I'm doing uh, now the cosmic alignment energy sessions. I, I have them for all those transits. I'm looking forward to doing this one. If that's something that interests you, it's part of the YouTube Star Family membership, and that's the Star Seed level uh, rise up. Okay, so here I really feel that I need to have some type of Schumann resonance at some point, you know, up that I will put for myself. <laughs> okay, let's continue for you, pile number. Three, I feel that your body also wants you to know that, um, look at this, you're very, uh, you benefit a lot from the elements, especially I would say the water, the water cleanses you, the sun inspires you, the wind, uh, you know, uh, purifies or silence your thoughts. There's just like, like, it feels like your receptivity to the elements is very high and in the past what could have blocked this was to care about other people's opinion okay do not connect to source connect to um and i think for you um my cosmic astral weather forecast where i talk about the sacred dance of the sun and the moon can be highly supportive because you're someone that I see has a bigger role uh, to bring certain truth and vision that you're coming to find out more and more as you activate your body. Your body is saying like, I, I'm, I'm, I want to activate my template. And part of this is connecting to the earth, the sun, the moon, the spin of the planet. Some of you, even astrology could be highly supportive for you. You might have the muse Urania. Some of you, if you have access to uh, the goddess Rise Up, I will try to put it here if I still have some space for it. Um, I have a muse Urania right now. She is in Scorpio. There might be some messages here for you. Okay. So that's what I have for you as far as your guidance from your body, uh, pile number three. I trust this supported you. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Namaste.